What is going on guys? Is this not a gorgeous, gorgeous morning? Look at that. That's incredible. That's a serious setup right there. How deep is it here? It's only 165. Okay. Well guys, that is a serious fisherman right there. He's got a Hobie kayak, all blinged out rod holders, depth finder, everything like that. So we have a little bit of kayak envy right now, at least I do. But he did tell us it's 165 feet right here. So we're definitely gonna drop some lines down. Look, look at how like dark blue the water yeah, is. This it's is real calm right here. And it's real calm, yeah. This is cool. I have a good feeling. I'm going with this great big piece of squid. I mean, huge. Got something, boys. It's not fighting, though. This is weird. Maybe it is an octopus. Fish on, too. Guys, we got doubles. Nice. Must have just hit that ledge, Asa. Yep. Look at that. It's coral. It's Do you have a fish for sure? I can't tell. It might be the bottom. Guys, look. Are you good grief? That is so dumb. I see something. It's. Are you what? Oh my god! What in the hay? Oh. Both of us caught two. Seriously. We're just tearing up the reef. <laughs> That is crazy. Oh, look, at there's a little starfish oh, there. A little starfish on it. Any other cool crustaceans? Doesn't look like it. Wow. That is crazy, Pops. That is so... <laughs> well, we hit a ledge. We're on a ledge now. That's good. Let's get our lines back down. Hopefully there's some fish around. Oh, guys. He's pulling us, baby. Guys, we got a good fish here. Nice. We got a good fish. Boy, did you see how hard he hammered oh, it? Guys, yeah. the GoPro wasn't even on, but he hammered it. This might be an uku. Yeah. You tell me if you want me to follow him. He's kind of below the boat. There's nothing to follow. Okay. Oh, he hammered it. I wish I had my GoPro on. Oh, it's an uku. It's an uku. We Get him in the boat. Oh, it's a good one, too. Yes! <laughs> Guys, look at that. That is one of the prize fish we come out here for. First serious game fish of the trip. Oh, guys, look at that beautiful uku. We're gonna put him in. We're gonna fish just a little, a little while longer because once you catch a uh, catch something good to eat, we uh, we want to get it back to a you know cooler pretty quickly. So, but we're gonna fish for about five or ten minutes more. All right, guys. So we have this big silvery spoon here. We're headed back home, but I'm gonna throw this out the back. Um, and let it trail behind us about 50 feet or so and see if we can get something trolling on the way back. So even though we only caught one fish, this is so worth it. This is our, one of our favorite eating fish. This is our favorite for fish tacos. All right. Look at that steak. Look at that big, beautiful filet of fish. I mean, and this is like a steaky, very steaky meat. So here's the final carnage. And there is the beautiful filet. All right, guys, and then we're back outside because we're going to, uh, at our condo here, they grow some herbs for us. And so that anybody can come down, not anybody, <laughs> you have to be staying here, but you can come down and um, just pick whatever you want. So we have... This looks like cilantro. Right here. Okay, yeah, these have everything. Lab yeah, oh, there it is. There, okay, so some, they have labels on some Thai stuff. basil. Thai basil. And over here we have lemon basil, all just all kinds of all kinds of stuff for anybody to come and pick. Pull some of these. This is gonna make that taco super good. Alright, then back at the room here. Fry and pan. Butter. Fish. Already seasoned the undersides. Season it with Cajun. Salt. Tortilla. My mouth is already watering. Let's 
check this. Oh, it's flaking away. Let's flip these. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, look at that tortilla. Just a little bit crispy on the bottom. And of course, we gotta try some right out of the frying pan. Because that little piece, it just, oh, it just flew right out of the pan. Mm. I'm glad you were there to catch it. Mm -hmm. I just, the wind. Mm -hmm. Somebody had to catch it before it blew away. This, this is amazing. This is truly, this might be one of the best fish I've ever cooked. And look at this here, guys. This looks like something you'd find at a restaurant. Pops, that looks amazing. It's gonna be good, son. I'm, I'm excited to eat. I'm hungry. Oh, man. Big chunks of white fish. So this is how my dad likes to make his fish taco. Put a skiff of mayo on there. It's gonna be the start of our, kind of our tartar slaw, as we call it. Cabbage, lettuce. I like bell peppers myself. Some pickles. I'm gonna put some uh, onion and some maters. And then we're gonna put a little fresh cilantro on there. Cause I love that. All right. Oh my. All right, all right. I'll get a little of that salt if I A little right. salt on there? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna salt my tomatoes up. I'm gonna put a little lime juice on it. Lime, I yes. I like a fresh lime, but we, I like lemon myself. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little of both actually. And pog. When you come to Hawaii, you gotta have pog. Pog juice, that is, for those of you who. That's uh. Is that a universal thing? Or is that just Hawaiian thing? Pog I don't know. juice? No, it's pog. Pineapple, passion orange, 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 and passion guava. orange. Oh, passion fruit, orange, guava. Passion, orange, and guava. I don't know. Is that you? Are there other? Are there other countries out there? I'm not sure. All I've ever seen it is when we come to Maui. So. Uh huh. Mm. Wow. Wow, that's right. That fish is good. Not fish. Mm. I love using Cajun seasoning for the, mm -hmm. for tacos. I mean, I love it in general, but for tacos, mm -hmm. because you get like a really strong fish flavor, and then you have all the fresh veggies mm -hmm. and the smooth oh, yeah, mayonnaise. Yeah. These are some of the best fish tacos we've ever made. Cheers. Oh, cheers.